Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome. My name is Lauren, I am 15 years old, and sell primarily clothing and shoes on Poshmark and Mercari. And in today's video, I was able to go to garage sales for the first time in 2021. So it is finally the season for garage sales, so I have a really good haul for you guys. So let's get right into the video. <music> Okay, so this is the first time that I actually was able to go grad selling in my area because it has just warmed up and so it's starting to become the season for them. And for those of you that have been subscribed to my channel for a little bit, know that I love grad selling. That's how I um, find most of my inventory to resell online on Poshmark and Mercari. And so I was really excited to see that there were garage sale signs. So I actually got some really good stuff. This was probably one of the best garage sale hauls um, that I have had in a long time, actually. So let's get right into what I found. Okay, so the first place that I went, now there were only like five garage sales. So I was like, well, we went to two of them and did not get anything. And then one, I got a whole pile of stuff. And then the other, I found a few other things. So the first place that I went, um, I ended up getting these, let's see, where's the brand? Aloe leggings. So this is the first time that I've ever found aloe and I was pretty happy to find it because I've heard good things about this. So fun fact, I love to negotiate. And so anytime I'm at a garage sale, I almost always negotiate and get a lower price. So these they had for $8. Um, I ended up asking the lady um, that was running the sale if she would do five. And she's like, I can do six. And I was like, that's fine. I'll go put them back. Thank you. And she's like, oh, no, it's fine. I'll do five. So I got these for $5. They are a size large. They're just a pair of like purple leggings. But they have like this really cool lace up detailing now i did look these up and they had a certain name i can't remember exactly what the name was if i remember i'll put it on the screen here whatever the name was but these are selling new tags for 95 dollars. but i think i'll be able to sell these for about 40 dollars. so five dollars into 40 that's pretty good for a garage sale these are full length leggings which tend to do a lot better than say cropped or something so that was pretty cool and then the next place I went, I found this Kato top. Now, this is a size 22 by 24 wide. Now, when I got this home, I did find a small flaw, so I'll show that to you here in just a minute. Um, but it's a very pretty blouse. Um, it's got, like, the um, cinched fringe, like, tassel tie thing right here. The flaw is just right here. It's got a little bit of a bleach spot. Um, it's hardly noticeable when you're looking at it, but I will have to disclose that. I got this for $2.50. Okay, and then, all right, this is like super crazy. So, at the next place, I got all of this stuff, okay? So, all of this was priced at $32, and my mom was with me, so I asked her, I was like, should I see if she would take 20 and then say 25? She's like, well, you could probably just say 25, you know, because it was $32. And so I went up there and I was like, you know what? I'm just going to say 20 and then we'll go up from there. I was like, there's no way she's going to accept $20 when it was all priced at 32. So I was like, hey, how are you? You know, I always like to be nice to everybody. And so I was like, it's a really nice day for a garage sale. Um... And I basically just said, would you take 20? And I was like, and you can look at everything that's in there, you know, so that she could like add it up, you know. And she's like, eh, yeah, sure, I'll take 20. So I got all of this stuff for 20 bucks. So that was pretty cool. And it was some really good stuff as well. So I first got these Adidas like black joggers. They're just a women's size medium. They're like the Climacool. So I'm not sure how much these will sell for. Um, she had these priced at five bucks. Um, 
but of course I didn't pay five dollars for them. And then I got these shorts. There's price tags on them everywhere. They are just Hollister. They're size zero zero, so double zero. It's kind of a small size, but it still sells. They have some distressing on them. There's the back. Then I got this crop top. It's from Billabong. Here's the brand. Um, it's a size extra small. Nothing too special, but I was actually looking for some items to kind of bundle together. So that's why I ended up picking this up. It'll probably only go for like six bucks maybe, but I thought it would be a nice bundling piece. And the more that I bought, hopefully she would be willing to do a little less. Then I also got some more Adidas. These are also a size medium. They are pretty much the same. They're joggers, but instead of the black stripe, they have the white stripe. Then also like the ankle zip at the bottom. These are also climacool. So I don't know. I've seen these listed for like 30 bucks. They'll probably sell for 20 or 25. Um, again, I haven't looked up anything. Then I got this Calvin Klein. It's like a just a bikini top. This is very cute. Here is like the tag. This one is a size small and it has like the really cool spell out like elastic band or whatever. Tie in the front. Just a super cute swimsuit. And then I got these American Eagle Outfitters. These are the high rise jegging and they are a size zero short. They're not buttoned, but they have some distressing on the legs here. And then on the back pocket as well. So these would probably sell for 25 is what I'm thinking. And then there was also a, another pair these are just American Eagle, not American Eagle Outfitters. These are the high-rise jigging as well, um, size four, but these are not distressed. So they're just a straight leg, a nice lighter wash. So those are pretty nice. Those, I don't know, maybe 25 on those. Well, probably 20, but more like distressed always sells for a little bit more. Okay, I'm seeing a little flaw on the next item, a little bit of bleach, but that's fine. I was planning on keeping this item, so that is all right. This is by American Eagle. It's a size small. It's just a striped basic tee. It's a little bit cropped, which is nice for high-rise jeans. Then there was a pair of Old Navy, just a size small as well. Just some like olive green shorts. So those were pretty cool. And then the best for last in this haul. When I saw this brand, I was like, oh my goodness, how did I find this where I am? Because I do not find Patagonia that regularly. It's Patagonia, size medium. I'm pretty sure this is a men's. So the front doesn't look too special, but check out the back. Like, isn't that such a cool pattern or like a graphic? I thought it was so cool. Now I did notice it had like a few spots right here, but those should easily come out. And if not, I'll just note them um, and list it for a little bit less. Okay, so I saved the best item for last. This. When I found it, I was like, oh my goodness. I cannot believe that I found this. And at first I was like, okay, wait, I need to look it up, make sure that this is the real deal. And when I looked it up, I was like, oh, yep, it is. So you can probably tell what it is just by looking at it a little bit. It is a Stella McCartley, I think is how you say it, an Adidas collaboration piece. It is this like 
puffer coat. It's cropped. It's black. It's kind of looking a little weird in the camera. But it is super cool. Now, it is a size small. And as you can see here, it has $10 on it. And so I was like, you know what? It's fine. $10 is totally fine. I was like, but I'm going to try and see if they'll take five. And I was like, they probably won't because this is a really nice and expensive jacket. And so I went up to the lady and um, I was like, hey, I was like, you had $10 on this. Would you be willing to take five? And um, it wasn't actually her. So she had to ask the other lady and the other lady's like, oh, yeah, I'll take five. And I was like, you will? And she's like, yeah. I was like, oh, thank you so much. So I was looking up comps and of course I used Google Lens, which if you have not used that, you definitely need to use it because it is great. So I basically just brought it home, laid it on my carpet and took like a really quick photo of it and it pulled up instantly. And the day before it had sold on the real real for $95. So I thought this was pretty cool find. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to get $95 for it on Poshmark, um, but if I can even get like $70 or something, $5 into that is still really great. The only flaw that it has is on the inside, it has this small like tear slash hole in the lining, um, so I'll definitely need to note that, um, but other than that, it is in excellent condition so I definitely am excited to get this one listed it is gonna be spring and summer here pretty soon so I need to get it listed pretty quick but if it just sold on the real real the other day it should sell pretty quick so that is everything from the Saturday garage selling haul I guess the trip I think I found some pretty good stuff um, for only going to five garage sales. Of course, I only picked things up at like four, but it still was pretty cool. I got some really cool items. So let me know in the comments down below, do you like to go to garage sales or yard sales? And if you do, would you rather go to a garage sale over a thrift store? Let me know in the comments down below. For me, I would definitely rather go to a garage sale than go to a thrift store. Um, but that's just something that I like to do. So if you liked today's video, please give it a big thumbs up. Consider subscribing down below for more reseller content. And I will catch you in my next video. Bye!